Hey guys, today is uh, Saturday, January the 7th of 2023, and it's that time of the month where we do our quick update on the uranium spot price. So without any further delay, let's get into it. I uh, think this video is going to be a little bit of an educational slash, you know, technique tip and something I'm going to start incorporating. You're going to see more of this kind of video in the future. One thing I have been neglecting is uh, using a technique of scaling the chart. Uh, and now uh, after back testing some things and looking at some things, you know, in, in new light, I have discovered that uh, there's a lot of value when you scale your chart the right way. In regards to the uh, geometry technique that I'll be showing you today in this uh, video you, using the uranium spot price. Gann was very successful in trading. Uh, his style was very esoteric. You know, some may say very weird, but he was very successful in what he did. And he had an open mind and he looked at different things and applied different techniques and used what worked and, you know, maybe discarded what didn't work. And one of the things that he uh, figured out was charting his chart on paper. And uh, that is probably the best place, you know, best way to do it. Uh, it's very tedious and hard. I know this one guy, I think he's on Twitter. He does that. And I'm, I admired him. He's, uh, however he does it, it's amazing. Uh, that's the old school way of doing it. Uh, and in regards to geometry and uh, looking at the trend, that's probably the best way. Uh, but, you know, with technology uh, has advanced, there's uh, other ways also you could do it. And one that I have found, and I'm starting to uh, tap into this, is a software I use called Timing Solution. It has a feature where you can scale the chart at the 45 degree scaling. So, in other words, everything it's you know, with, at the 45 degree of the chart. So... When you scale something using like the GAN fans is going to give you an accurate 45 degree. Anything you do is going to be an, uh, an actual 45 degree within the chart scaled. And uh, I'm looking at it and back testing it and I'm finding very good value and accurate uh, information in regards to uh, the trend, resistance, support, uh, and turning points. So without any further delay, let's get into it. A couple of things I wanted to show you. The all-time high, all high here, where we put a GAN fan, you see it's a 45 degree, minus 45 degree, because it's down. So this is the 45 degree, and this is, uh, you could also call it the one by one. So there's a one by one, one by two, one by three, one by four. I'm guessing maybe this is a one by eight around there. But the important thing is, is the one by one, the 45 degree. Angle. Gan said a price or an instrument is stronger if it's, you know, in an uptrend. It's uh, stronger when it's above the 45. It's, a, it's weaker when it's below the 45. So with that uh, being said, you can see that price action have been struggling uh, ever since we blew right through it. But then, you know, just creeped right below it. And it's just kind of chopping around, consolidating at the uh, one by one from this all time high. So this is at a very important angle. If you ask me, uh, let's go. Then you want to go to extreme prices. That's what Gan uh, recommended. Go to the all time high or, you know, important high or an important low. So we're going to go with the important low from what the data that I have. And that's a 45 degree angle. This is the uh, 45 right here. The middle is a one by one. You can see that we're uh, uh, one by one, one by two. We're at the one by three, and we're just kind of hovering, just finding support. And this is, uh, mind you, monthly close price. So this is not day to day, weekly. This is where we close in December, forty seven sixty eight. You know, and it's an average. It's not. You know, they say that. You know, they uh, uh, these people uh, do uh, uh, what they call it. Uh, private, you know, negotiations and stuff like that. So we really, really don't know exactly maybe what the actual price is, but this is on average. So I'm going to go with this and this is by a reputable uh, 
company which I uh, follow, which is Cameco, and this is where they uh, post their uh, closing. So they got a, you know, a uranium spot price, and then you know they have one which is called long term, which is higher. But I'm just gonna go on average what you know we closed in December. So those are little nuances you have to pick. But let's say that you know this is it on average. You can see that we're at the uh, one by three finding support from the all-time low but then from the all-time high we're finding resistance this is a very important angle that you want to keep on your radar uh, when i say fractal that means i get i start getting a little closer to the price action of what's going on so i'm like narrowing in and we take uh this low of 2016 45 degree is this middle one and this one is different because this one is a 45 it's a 30 and the 60. I didn't want all these lines here because I kind of want to just kind of clean up the chart. So this is the important one. And as of right now, in December close, we are below it. So we're on, we're a little on the weaker side compared to being above the one by one or the 45 degree, which will indicate that uranium price action is stronger. Uh, that could be subject to change, you know, depending on this uh, January. If we close somewhere around uh, 5391 or around there, uh, what is this? this? Is January, February, you know, somewhere around there, 5336 or 5299, and we have a close above that, then that's bullish. That's strong. Uh, we'll continue. Going from the top that we made of the uh, close, 45 degrees right now. We uh, had a tough time uh, penetrating the uh, 30 uh, degree angle. And this is the 45 and this is the 60. So it's showing that there's some kind of something going on here in geometry when you scale the chart right, which I'm uh, finding a lot of value to it. Let's uh, continue. This is the ellipse from here, from this low. And what I'm doing, I'm uh, focusing on this high and then having this shoot out into the future and these are minor these are this is the major scale i wanted to show you something that i've uh wow just doing this technique every time this uh, circle major scale like chromatic major scale uh if look at that, it found a top here mind you and it's from here that i'm anchoring from here to here this one found this swing high from right here, it kind of found this swing high and then it kind of collapsed. Uh, you can see that from right here, it found this swing high and price is kind of pulled back, not as much. And then right here, this is the future now. So February, somewhere around February, you know, cause this is a monthly close, a monthly chart. It's gonna be hard to indicate the day or the week, but the month of February is gonna be interesting using this technique to see what's gonna happen what's gonna to happen to uh, the price of uh, uranium spot. And then in the future, this there, uh, uh, like March, 2025. So then again, I went ahead and uh, created one called the minor. So that was the major I just showed you. This is the minor, so it's a little different. Uh, this one picked up this top here. This one, uh, same thing here. This one picked, up, picked this low, you know, not exactly, but kind of picked a, uh, a turning point in price action. This one picked kind of this low right here with the minor scale. And then it's open space here. So you see that the uh, major has something important coming in February. But the minor, it's really just all open space, only to uh, 2025. Somewhere around, I guess, uh, you know, February or March of 2025. Now, you know, this is the uh, pitchfork technique. This is not nothing to do with the 45 degree angle. This is just pretty much swing points from the all time high, you know, to this low. You can see that this angle, we have failed it. And these are key levels you want, you, you, you don't want to keep an eye on. And we're hovering around that 4768 on the monthly close in December. It's interesting that we couldn't just continue pushing higher here. You take that same uh, pitchfork and then you adjust it at uh, the 50% and you can see that we failed right here. So this is the uh, zero, this is the uh, 25, 50, 
75. And we feel that the 25, but kind of finding support right here. We adjust that, you know, another 50 with an A and B uh, adjustment uh, with the uh, program. You can see that we kind of penetrated this, but failed and closed here. So I'm just, this is the uh, 25. So I'm just showing you from, you know, different settings of the pitchfork, uh, what, you know, what's going on with price. But what's important here is that this level remains, you know, a key level, 47.98. Using the parallel lines from here and adjusting it to that high, you can see that here was resistance using the parallel technique. Uh, I'm not saying all, it's going to go all the way down here, but if it ever does get down here, you, can, you, you definitely guarantee that there's going to be some kind of support coming into it. But I just wanted to show you the technique. And it's from one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth line from that high you could get this uh, resistance level. Fibonacci, I uh, went in from the extreme high, extreme low. You can see that we hit the uh, 61.8, which is at 56.42. Uh, uh, and it went a little higher, and I'm sure it probably went even higher because this is closes. And right now we're kind of like, you know, fiddling in the middle within that uh, range. From the all time high to the 2016, there is some kind of support here, which is at 26.6%, which is 46.29. So you want to keep an eye on that. And, you know, this is a little more fractal. Uh, you can say it's still strong. It's, you know, below at least 26.3. But if it ever pushes lower, you got that 43.04, which is at 38.2% on the Fibonacci uh, level. Uh, and we're just kind of hovering around here. So there's ways to go if it's going to push lower to hit that. I'm using a cube technique, and you can see that right here, this will be also support coming down if ever pushes lower. And the ellipse technique, uh, you know, this is from the low to high, and just is showing me the same thing I showed you with the uh, circle, watching out for March, and just kind of seeing when prices get to this, and see what's going to happen in this uh, arc. And this is all 45 degrees, so this is exactly. I did it from the high to the low. You can see that price action just kind of was below the circle and then we kind of penetrated higher. So if we push lower, I'm going to be assuming that this uh, line is going to be some kind of support that's going to hold uranium spot price. And I went even fractal. So you're now getting the idea of fractal. I'm going, you know, from in, a, you know, circle to circle, you know, narrowing it down from here. And I want to see if we're going to explode. I want to go through that arc or that circle and break out of it. So this is right now the bubble that we're in right here. Let's see, I mean, not bubble like that's gonna burst and collapse, but I mean, you know, within the circle, I mean, that's what I kind of call a bubble. Advanced support uh, and resistance. This was a key level, this 1510, and now we're below it. Advanced support and resistance. You can see from these uh, swing points, this was a very important uh, level, and we failed right there, 57.74 in regards to the close. And now from this swing point to here, an important level to watch would be that 44.90 uh, as a key level. So these are key uh, advanced support resistance levels that I'm watching. Uh, and that thing, that's it. Uh, What's my thoughts, you know, the geometry, uh, I think is very important. I think the most important things of all these right here is these GAN fans. Uh, and this 45 degree angle, these are the most important ones. This one down here. And it's scale, 45 degree. And I'm going to start incorporating this on all my future charts. And I'm going to be calling them whatever the instrument is. And it's going to be scale. And I'm going to compare this with the uh, GAN grid that I use. It's not scale, but uses the 25%. Uh, you just kind of see how, you know, things move around within price action and just kind of back test things and just see, you know, uh, what could give me an edge and what works and what, you know, comparing them, you know, both and just seeing, you know, just writing some notes and just, you know, building some data and information on these uh, techniques. Well, that's it for uh, Uranium Spot Price. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick update on that. This was not pretty much cycles and everything. You kind of pretty much know all the, the majority of the cycles. 
Uh, but if you do want me to work on cycles and stuff like that, I could do another update on that. But I, I thought this was probably more important in regards to geometry. Hopefully you like this video, hit a like button, and I'll keep you posted on the uranium spot price.